everybody. It is Alicia here and I am doing a um, specialized video for Cindy who is purchasing our 41 named Janet um, and she's renamed it Bess. Um, but I wanted to do the zigzagger again for her so that way she had a personalized video and I thought to myself why not make another one just in case somebody's missed it. So I do have the 41 all nicely um, threaded up there. And I'm just gonna go through a little bit about the Singer um, Automatic Zigzagger um, very quickly. First off, there is oiling points on this little contraption. And um, I'm not gonna do the oiling points in this demonstration just to save on time. But uh, as I had been pointed out to me when I first started learning this myself, the oiling points diagram is in located in the back of the Singer manual. Um, I missed it because I was looking for it in the front and a good friend of mine was like, Alicia, it's in the back. So long story short, it is in the back of the manual. So this is the actual zigzagger attachment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light here because that little light does help. This is the zigzagger attachment and these little cams fit inside of here. And if we look on the cam, you can see that there are two little notches and I'm gonna explain a little bit about those notches, but really quickly, these cams, you wanna put a drop of oil inside of there. So I'm gonna grab another cam out of my box because I've already put a drop of oil in that one. I'm gonna grab my oil really fast. So you just stick a drop of oil right inside of the cam on the outer portion, not in the hole, but on the outer portion. I need to grab a rag, I got a drop of oil on my table. Um, so then, Talking about back to those notches, there is the notches inside of the cam. Let me see if I can stand where you can see it. Um, right there it is. There are notches on the top of the little shaft, you can see them, inside the cam, or I mean inside the zigzagger. So you're gonna stick your cam with the notches matching the notches on the zigzagger and it will make a little clicking noise. And then you can shut the lid. And that is how you um, insert the cams in there. Singer has two red set cams. You have the set one, which is the basic one that generally comes with the zigzagger. Sometimes with these zigzaggers over time, they may have four cams in there, but it may not be the complete first set. And that's okay. Um, it doesn't mean that the zigzagger is worth more or less. It just kind of is what it is. But um, with this particular set, set one starts with the part number 161000. And then from there, it goes up to 161003, completing the first four. Set number two is also red, or it can come in a white color. And that starts with the item number 161004 and goes to seven. After that, there is a blue cam set and then a yellow cam set. So let's talk a little bit about how we're going to attach this little guy to our machine. So I'm gonna scoot my machine a little bit closer here. So I've already removed the standard presser foot off of the shaft. And you're gonna to want to take note of the needle clamp and the shaft here. So when we look at our zigzagger, if you purchase one from me, you can rest assured it's gonna fit your 221. If you've got one and you're unsure, the first way to tell is that etched on this, I call it the duck bill because it reminds me of a duck, um, it should say straight needle. If this says slant needle, it is not going to fit on your featherweight. Um, it'll fit on your 301 or your 401 or any of those um, particular Singer models that are a slant needle. So you want the straight needle. This part number is 160985. So if you you know see them floating around out there. There's another one that has a different part number and it also is for a straight needle. It will also work. So looking at the front of the zigzagger here, you'll see this L-shaped looking component. This is going to fit right over here on this shaft. And then our duck bill that I was talking about here is going to fit or slide right onto the needle clamp here. So it's gonna take a little bit of finagling, but let me go ahead and scoot my chair over here and show you. So I generally 
try to line up the needle clamp first and then slide, let me scoot it here. See how I have it on an angle? Needle clamp up here first and then slide on an angle back around to where it fits right on that shaft. And then this little guy should fit in that hole and you should feel it go in. There it goes. And then you can screw that completely on there. And then from there, you should be able to use your lever and put it up or down. For this demonstration, I'm also using some stabilizer, which is used with um, a lot of embroidery underneath my um, fabric. Even on the modern machines now, they do recommend some form of stabilizer whenever you do the monograms or lettering or fancy stitches. So um, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna do the same here. So the first one that I've got in there is the scallops. When you look in your zigzagger manual, you will note that they have got the patterns listed out and um, we'll start here listed out for you right here and I don't know if my camera is gonna be able to show you the whole page so I'll bend it down so we're starting with the stitch pattern 161001 and this is the curved line then this is just kind of talks about what you can use the stitch for down here is really what we want to pay attention to this talks about the stitch number and then um, down here you'll see the words narrow medium and wide bite so let me show you a little bit on the zigzag and I probably should have showed you with the disc off but for all intents and purposes you should be able to see an etched W this little guy's in the way but an etched M and an etched N that stands for narrow medium and wide and then over here you are familiar with your stitch length regulator. So following these instructions on this here page, we note, let's say that we want to do the top one just to make this really short, simple, and easy. It says stitch number 30 if I want my stitches to look like this, stitch 25, or stitch 12. I like how these are um, more narrow. I think they're really cute. So I'm going to set, set my stitch length regulator to 30 and I'm going to set it to the end. So going back over here to the zigzagger, there is a little notch up here on your zigzagger. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like a little um, black notch. You'll want to line that in up with that and go ahead and tighten that down. And then when you go over here to the stitch length regulator, we want to set it to the 30. So I'll go ahead and unscrew this down and move that up to the 30 and screw that back in. So now I've got that all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera down here so that way you guys can see. And I'm going to stick my fabric and my stabilizer inside of here. And I'm going to put my presser foot down. And then really from there, you are just going to stitch. And you know what? I just realized that I cut black fabric and have dark thread. So give me just a second. And let me grab white fabric because you're not going to be able to tell anything with dark fabric. Okay, so I'm going to stick my light fabric on my small piece of stabilizer here, and I am going to go ahead and lower my presser foot, and now I'm going to go ahead and stitch. The zigzagger itself is what moves the fabric back and forth. I'm just going to kind of show you. I'm not holding on to it, so it's going to go any which direction on my fabric, which is okay. I'm more just worried about doing the demonstration of it. Go ahead and put my um, lever in the utmost position, 
And then the same like you would do with sewing, you just go ahead and lift that lever and you're just gonna go ahead and cut that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just love this thing. This is my favorite attachment. I absolutely love it. So let's move on to the next one. Again, gonna line this up, make sure it clicks, snap it shut. This one is the domino. So going back to my um, page here, I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna keep it on the 36 stitch setting with the narrow, just to kind of keep it simple so that way we're not wasting a whole lot of time. But you can see on the next one, I'll switch the stitch length regulator so that way you can kind of just get a, a, an idea. And I'm trying to get it to where the lighting is okay. So once again, just gonna place that on there and drop that lever. Don't want it to hang up there. Oh, it's definitely hanging up. Want to make sure your threads are out of the way, definitely. Like I said, this is my favorite attachment. I think this is just the cutest thing. And I can't wait to actually do some things with it other than just demonstration video. So there's the little diamond and or the domino. So like I said, you can adjust this. Let's do one more can here. This one is like the Christmas tree. It's what it reminds me of. So line that up. And what they call it here is arrowhead. So again, kind of looking at this, let's go ahead and let's do the stitch length over here. Let's just do it to 25 and then let's set it to wide. So going back over here to my um, zigzagger, I'm going to move it to the W and then I am going to set my stitch length regulator to 25. So I'm just going to drop it down just a little bit. Stick my fabric in there, drop my pressure foot. Lift this little guy up, pull that out strings and there's that one so just by making those minor adjustments you can adjust you know and you can finagle with it and be really creative with some of these different stitch patterns so there is one more zigzagger attachment and I will just go ahead and this is just the regular um, zigzag I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in there and for this one I'm gonna do medium and I'm actually going to stitch, make up my own and just set my stitch length to, let's just do it down to about the 12, what I normally just do a regular basic stitch with. I'm gonna stick that under there. is my stitch adorable so Cindy this little girl is ready for you and we will definitely be sending this out to you um, it's sewing wonderfully it demonstrated the zigzagger awesome so if you guys have any questions feel free to post them in the comments if there's a specific you know uh, movie that you would like to see yourself just let me know